Got something a little different up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Today, we're gonna be going for a test drive in a 1986 Suburban. Pretty clean truck, inside and out. It's got a 5.7, 350 under the hood. We're gonna be trying everything out. Looks like it's got all the AC components. We'll see if that works, see if it cuts on, uh, and see how she runs and drives down the road. If you're new to the channel, I post stuff like this every single day. See, we got a whole classic car lot full of muscle cars. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in financing and shipping, we ship cars all over the states. They're right here in Nashville, Tennessee. And financing is available. Go to maplemotors.com. There's three companies on there you can choose from. And yes, they finance old classics, especially a Suburban. All right, guys, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we're gonna check out the interior. Go ahead, place your bets. Someone like to do. Do you think the horn works on this one? The little dash has got some spots and stuff in it, but it's still in pretty good shape. This one's showing uh, 8,500 miles. It's got an aftermarket set of gauges below the dash. We'll go ahead and start her up. Starts up nice and easy. I guess somebody didn't like the radio. They put a delete plate on there. You can always add another radio. The interior is this red cloth. It looks pretty good, front and back seat. Uh, you even got a spot back there for a third row. We'll go ahead and try the horn, y'all ready? Horn works. Windshield wipers, working as well. AC, let's see if it works. It's blowing nice and hard, but it doesn't feel cold yet. We'll leave it on and uh, see if it gets cold going down the road. Let's take off. Quite getting ready to take off. I noticed on my gauges, the tip gauge is just sitting right at 200. I don't think it actually works. It really hasn't moved at all since we started the vehicle. So we'll be watching that. I did check it. It doesn't seem like it's running hot at all. Turn signals popping up on the dash. I'm trying to see if the AC is cooling off in this one, and it's not. Probably going to need some AC work. Go ahead and cut that off. Truck seems to be going straight down the road. Steering's nice and tight. The speedometer's not working on this one. Gas gauge is floating around. Kick down's hooked up. Brakes are sensitive. Stop fast. Like it's idling nice and smooth. Waiting on the red light here.
Paul Suburban drives pretty good. I mean, it drives like it's supposed to. Nice and smooth. Get the AC working and be blowing cold air. Not too many of these left in this shape. I'm gonna get some outside shots. We'll drive by the camera, check it out. Uh, maybe even do a walk around over here. This thing's super clean, super long too. I mean, you're way back there. Look, hey man, you're all the way back there. Just turn around and be like, kids, settle down. Or you can fit all your camping stuff back there. That'd be all right. You can sleep in here like a doghouse. Or you can take all the seats out, put your canoes in. Or you can just leave it the way it is and roll on. Could always be a pretty cool work van. Got y'all in the driver's seat. Nice and hot in here now. I'm gonna have to open the vent window, let a little AC in. Since the AC's not working on this one today. Um, oil pressure sitting at 40 at idle, and then that temperature gauge is not working. It's still in the same exact spot. We've been rolling this parking lot back and forth, back and forth. Thank God for vent windows. I can feel that blowing straight up my pant leg. Not really any rattles going on for an old suburban like this. Rides pretty good. Halfway up this street's a decent speed bump in the middle of the road. We'll hit it at a moderate speed. Probably won't even notice it in this boat. Hardly at all. I'm 
I'm gonna pull next to the car lot here. We're gonna do an outside walk around now, get this all tied up and finished, uh, and try to get another video out today. Be looking for the walk around, point out any kind of flaws inside and out. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this started. I appreciate y'all riding with me. Thanks again, guys. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the ride in this nice Suburban. Go ahead, check out maplemotors.com. Close to 100 detailed pictures of it. I do have financing information, wheels, tires, parts, accessories, and shipping. You can find shipping on there. Go ahead and call and get you a quote. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. I normally post all the hot rod classics, but the old Suburban's still a classic itself, so. We try to post everything that comes through here. And we're gonna be doing a walk around video, so be looking for it as well. You can check it out the last 30 seconds of this video. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. I'm gonna get this started. Y'all have a good one.